On this video, we are talking modifications. Can it devalue your RV? I wanted to talk about modifications. Changing your RV, can these devalue your RV and make them worth less? I know there's two total sides to this debate and we are going to tackle Whoa, wait. You cannot change your RV. People are not going to like it and it'll never sell if you decide to sell it. Okay. Are you a team? You can do it. Are you a team? You can't. We're well, going to find we'll out. We'll see about that. But I'm telling you right now, you change your RV, you're going to completely devalue it, and it's going to be worth nothing. Well, good luck with that. So I wanted to have a little fun with the intro because I know this is a very controversial subject. There is people who are totally think remodeling will make your camper worth more and it won't make it worth less. And then you have those people that if you do anything to your camper, it is totally going to devalue your camper and it's not going to be worth it. So today I just wanted to give my opinion on this. It is totally opinion. I'm sure you may have your own opinion. And if you do, leave it in the comments. I'm open to hearing all kinds of opinions. I feel like me being a realtor, I have a little insight into this because while I do sell homes, an RV is your home. And I feel like a lot of the same concepts apply to both. When it comes to your RV, there is a lot of things that determine the value, the condition, how many miles, if it's something that you can drive, even if it's something you pull, how many miles you have pulled it, the age of your RV, and the desirability of that RV. Now, the first factor is condition of your RV. A lot of times there's things that you do have to upgrade because they've worn out, they've torn up, and these things you've got to upgrade or do. Ours is the recliners. Ours is peeling, they're coming apart, and that's gonna be something we're gonna have to replace sometime this year because it's making a mess everywhere. Sometimes there's things you have to do to your camper because of the age, things do break down, things tear up. So those things usually are good things that you can fix because somebody doesn't want a rundown camper. Now, another thing, when you are doing modifications to your RV, there's a difference between personalization and it being functional. Upgrading the interior of your RV by changing the decor, painting it, these are very subject. So if you're planning on doing something to your RV by painting it or doing some decor changes and you're planning on selling it, I would try to keep these things neutral. Make it where it appeals to the most amount of people because you don't want to paint your RV pink because not everybody likes pink if you're going to sell it. Now, if you don't plan on selling your RV and you want to make it your own, paint it pink. It's what you want. I've made a lot of changes to an RV and I have made it to my taste. I haven't gone extravagant or anything crazy, so I don't feel like I have devalued my camper for the fact that it would appeal to a lot more people. But keeping it neutral, I really think you can upgrade your RV and change your decor and not devalue your RV. It's just like your home. If I have somebody that purchases a home and they make upgrades to the home and change the decor and keep it neutral, they're adding value to their home. If they make changes to their home that a small number of people want, then it does make the value go down. I've had this happen quite a few times where people paint a bedroom or something very bold 
and people walk in it and look at it and go, oh gosh, I'm going to have to paint this. Now, granted, it's going to cost a gallon of paint to fix it, but in their mind, it's thousands of dollars. Now, changing the functionality of an RV, taking out our dining room table, I feel like could have hurt our value a little bit because someone with kids is not going to want this camper because there's only a place for two people to sit and eat. But if this is somebody that's looking at our RV that it's just two of them, this mod may make them want to purchase our camper and may make our camper worth more. I'm trying my best not to make this sound confusing on how I feel about this. But I think this is a very confusing subject. I would say 50% of the people that would buy this camper, that modification would be a great modification. Now the other 50% that would buy this camper, it's going to be a huge negative. Next, I'm saying that because I see on these forums all the time people taking out their shower in their bathroom and making a closet. I know there is a lot of people that do not use their showers or their bathrooms in the camper, but there's a lot more people that do. So you maybe only are going to appeal to 25% of the people looking at an RV because you've taken the shower out. Because personally, if I go look at a camper and the shower's been taken out, I'm going to walk away. I don't want to have the hassle of putting one back, which is going to be expensive, going to be time consuming, and that means that I'm going to offer a lot less for that camper because it's something that I'm going to have to add and I'm going to have to fit a bill. And I hope I am not making anybody mad. By no means am I trying to do that with this video. I just wanted to talk about this subject because I am a realtor. I see about modifications and adding and changing your home and it appeals, I feel like, exactly the same to the RV. Now there are modifications that you can do to your RV that totally adds value no matter what kind of person's looking to buy your RV. If you add solar panels, almost everybody is going to love the fact that you've added solar panels. A lot of people, I see them fighting all the time, a residential fridge versus an RV fridge, and the people that you're gonna hurt in that scenario are people who boondock. People who don't boondock are going to love that you upgraded the refrigerator to a residential size, and that's going to make your RV worth more to those people. It depends on the person that's buying it whether that's going to make your RV worth less. So can making changes to your RV devalue your RV or make it worth less? It can, but there's so many factors to this that it's hard to say what your modification would do because it depends on how many people it's going to appeal to. Another thing is it depends on how well your modification is. Some people want things to be perfect and some people, if there's a little imperfection, they don't mind. But you don't want to do anything that, you know, it's going to start falling off the walls when they start driving down the road. And some people might know that. So if it's poorly done, then it can devalue your camper. And there's professional people out there that actually do totally change a RV. And it totally makes the value worth so much more. And especially when they buy like an older RV update and remodel those, those make the value go up. It's always best if you're thinking about changing something, maybe get on an RV group and ask them, is this something you would like or not like if you're concerned about it? And then you can see what the majority of the people say. And if the majority of the people hate it, then it's probably going to devalue your RV. Now, if you didn't watch last week's video, there is a little bit of time left to July 4th. I'm giving away this, so go watch that video. Enter to win this before July 4th. Happy July 4th. Till next time, like and subscribe.